In this video, you will learn how to import historical CCTV inspections. When media such as photos and videos of inspections is unavailable or when media will be uploaded at a later time. This workflow is useful if you want to use condition data within a risk analysis and media is unavailable at the time of upload. At this point in time, asset GIS data such as pipes and manholes should already be imported and available in the model. To import inspections, click on the inspections icon to the left. Under the inspections page, you will have the option to import pipe inspections or manhole inspections. You will see a summary of all the inspection data that is available and its status. In this example, we will import some pipe inspections. To import new inspections, click New Upload. The new upload window will allow you to choose an inspection format such as PACP version 6 and drag and drop your files into this section. I'm going to drag and drop my PACP version 6 database and while it uploads, the status will change until completed. Note that you can select multiple databases from your file explorer and upload all of them at the same time. Once the upload is completed, click Next if you're ready to import some media. If media will be uploaded at a later time, simply click Close. Once imported, this page will provide a summary of all of the inspections available for the asset type selected, including the current status of the inspection. All new inspections will have the status of missing media. At this point, all of the inspections will be available for viewing, but cannot be used in a risk analysis unless they are in an approved status. To approve inspections in bulk, filter the status to missing media, increase the page size to select a large amount of records, select all of the inspections that have status missing media, and click the Action drop-down menu, and click on Approve. A message will appear notifying you that you're approving inspections with missing media. Click on Approve to approve all of your inspections. Now I can see all of my approved inspections if I change the status to Approved. Upon approval, all CCTV inspections will be associated to an asset based on the upstream manhole and downstream manhole asset references or the PLR reference that matches the GIS in the model. Also, upon approval, all CCTV observations will be geocoded. CCTV inspection scoring will be updated based on the inspection standard selected during upload. And asset scores are also updated based on the latest and greatest CCTV inspections. As you can see, even though these inspections are in an approved status, the media column displays a red X mark implying that not all media has been uploaded for these inspections. To upload media in bulk, simply change the media filter to missing media, select all of the inspections that you want to upload media for, click on the action dropdown, and choose the edit media option. You will be sent to the edit media page where you can start uploading photo media or video media. Under the Pipe Inspections page, click under Condition Summary to view the latest condition data based on CCTV scoring. From here, you can see the asset ID and the survey date of the latest CCTV inspection imported and approved. You can filter your records based on severity, such as Structural Quick Score equals to 5, and export your records by clicking on the Export button and clicking Export and downloading the report once the export is completed. The condition summary data will be available in a CSV format. Only the records filtered will be available in the CSV file. These new CCTV inspections can be viewed in the map view. Click on the map icon to the left. Zoom to an area that has CCTV inspections. As you'll see, assets that have CCTV inspection will be color-coded based on the defect severity. The map legend can be viewed in the right-hand side, 
with all the inspections and observations, severity, symbology. If you zoom closer to a pipe, you'll be able to see all the color-coded defects. Click on the asset and view how the CCTV inspection has been associated to the asset and it is now available to be used under a risk analysis. Note that if you already have a risk analysis and you import new CCTV data, the risk model will have to be rerun to update it with the new condition data. You have now learned how to import historical CCTV inspections into Info360 Asset. Thank you.